Hi everyone, welcome in this video. In this video, I'll talk about two different kinds of reporter gene fusion techniques. One is transcriptional reporter gene fusion and another one is translational reporter gene fusion. Before that, let's begin with reporter gene. What is reporter gene? Reporter genes are used to observe expression of a specific gene visually. There are several kinds of reporter genes available to date. For example, like Z encoding gene from bacteria, green fluorescent protein encoding gene from jellyfish, and luciferase encoding gene from firefly. In this video, I will use GFP or green fluorescent protein as an example to explain the transcriptional and translational reporter gene fusion techniques. Briefly, GFP consists of 238 amino acid unit and it emits green light under UV light condition. So now let's delve into transcriptional and translational reporter gene fusion. So what is transcriptional fusion? To make a transcriptional fusion, we subclone the GFP coding region downstream of the promoter of the gene of interest. The resulting construct that consists of the promoter region of the gene of interest, the coding region of GFP with its own start and stop codons, and a generic 3' untranslated region is then introduced back into the organism of interest from which the promoter came from. If the promoter of the gene of interest is active, the transcriptional machinery RNA polymerase 2, general transcription factors, and gene specific transcription factors will bind and initiate the transcriptional process. RNA polymerase 2 and general transcription factors bind to the core promoter and gene specific transcription factors bind to proximal and distal promoter elements as you see here. Following transcription and translation of the reporter gene, only GFP protein is synthesized. We can use transcriptional reporters to observe the activation time or expression pattern of the promoter of the gene of interest by visualizing GFP via fluorescent microscopy, all without having to include the coding region of the gene of interest in the construct. This allows us to gain insight into where and when the gene of interest is transcribed. Now let's see what is translational fusion. To generate a translational fusion, the coding region of GFP is fused to the coding region of the gene of interest to make a chimeric gene. The resulting construct consists of a gene's own promoter, GFP, and the coding region of the gene of interest, followed by a generic 3' untranslated region. Importantly, GFP can be placed upstream, downstream, or internally in the coding region of one's favorite gene. Upon transcription, a translational reporter gene produces a single hybrid transcript. It represents a fusion of the coding region of gene of interest and GFP in a single mRNA. The mRNA is then translated into a chimeric protein that has the GFP and protein of interest fused together. To ensure that the two parts of the fusion protein do not interfere with each other's folding and function, the two domains are often fused via a so-called linker. A linker is a small peptide chain encoded by a small stretch of DNA sequence that is included in the reporter construct and thus transcribed and translated along with GFP and the coding region of gene of interest. The activity of the resulting translational fusion can be visualized by by fluorescent microscopy to reveal where the protein of interest accumulates or to observe its intra and intercellular movement and localization. By comparing the patterns of the translational and transcriptional fusions to one another, insights can be gained into where the gene of interest is transcribed and where the translated protein ends up in a cell or in a tissue. Thank you for watching this video.